just a quick catch up on the apple cider vinegar. You'll have to excuse if I look a wreck or if my kitchen looks a wreck, it's first thing in the morning. Um, but as you might remember from earlier in the video, when you're brewing apple cider vinegar, you have to stir it every day for the first 14 days. So for me to remember this, I have to just do it first thing in the morning, every day, so I don't forget. But what I wanted to show you is how the brew is coming along. So as you will see, I've got the vat tucked away in quite a dark corner of my kitchen. Um, the brew likes to be kept in the dark. And then I've also got a dark tea towel wrapped around it. So that's what you need to do. But let's get it out and have a little look. <laughs> my nice long mixing spoon which I keep on top ready I just rinse it off every day and then pop it back on top and I don't use it for anything else at the moment okay so there's the brew you'll see there's quite a lot of browning on the apples there's some bubbles all through here. Now yesterday there was loads of bubbles, loads of activity going on and that's really good because that means it's fermenting and it's doing its thing. Um, so yeah, that's a good sign. Um, yeah, not quite so much activity today. But we'll give it a stir and by stirring it what that does is 
the apples that are sat on the top, you're constantly changing what's on the top so they won't go mouldy and bad and um, start going off. So that's why it's really important that we stir it every day for 14 days. So I'll just bring you in a bit closer and you can have a look. There we are. So you can see some good bubbles there around the apples. Bubbling away is really, really good. That's what we want to see. Yeah, more good bubbles around there. And just look at that lovely colour. So I'll just take the cover off now. Lots of bubbles on the top there. Looking good. Right, and I'll just give this a good stir. Make sure you can see. So I just really push all those apples from the top down, give them a change around. Look, look at all the, if you can see that, look at all the bubbles now where I'm mixing it up. That's great, that's what we want to see. So this is day six now, I think, day six. So we're nearly, nearly halfway through the daily stir. So I'll give that spoon a rinse in a second, pop the cover back on to keep the dust out, to keep any fruit flies out, it's the odd one buzzing around the kitchen, and also to give it just a bit of covering but so it can breathe and ferment. So that's that, apple cider vinegar, day six, just checking in with you. We'll be back soon for more. This brew has been sat here for a little over a month since we strained the apples off. I've already taste tested it and it's definitely got a good vinegary bite, so it's ready to bottle. I've sterilised these bottles in a warm oven for more than 20 minutes, so we're ready to go. of our home brewed apple cider vinegar. It really is actually a very simple process. All that it takes is a bit of time and patience to brew this wonderful, healthful vinegar that you can do so much with. So try it for yourself and enjoy the results.
Peace and plants.